Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahabashai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. This is just going to be a quickie. The things that we have waiting for us. Okay. As a nation, but beginning with the elect, because this is what this is about, the elect. When you first come into the truth, you're thinking about the whole nation. No, we'll think of the elect, which we hope to be. So bear me just a minute. I quickly want to go into John 14 and 2. I'm not going to make this lesson long, Lord willing. Because it's not up to me. <laughs> bear me just a minute. You know, we're dealing with a lot of things. We're dealing with tribulation. We're dealing with a lot of things. A lot of things are on our plate right now. We've got a lot on our plate. We've got a lot to deal with. But it's this word that continually keeps us sane. It's this word that keeps us continually sound. Okay. Let's go to John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. And when your heart's troubled, what? You're in a state of what? Doubt? Fear? No. We're not supposed to be that. that troubled. No way. With the things, the signs that Yahweh is showing you, our faith is supposed to increase day by day. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High. This is Yahweh is speaking. Believe also in me. So if you believe, if you say you believe in Yahweh, believe in believe in Yahweh. Verse two: In my Father's house, Yahweh's house, are many mansions. And when you go into that man, that a uh, word mansions, it's what abode. A mansion is, is, is a place of what abode, somewhere where you dwell. So in other words, Yahweh shall say, in my father's house are many mansions, many dwelling places, different parts of the earth, okay, laid up for us, galaxies, okay, which are habitable, okay, which Esau is trying to search out with his telescopes. Even Esau knows this. Because he's what got what Hubble telescope. So bear me just a minute. This is what we got laid up for us. So be, be of good cheer. Okay. I'm just going into that word mansions. Money. Strong's G 3438. Money. 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 A staying, an abiding, a dwelling, an abode. To make one's abode. Metaphor of the Most High, the Holy Spirit in dwelling. That's another thing as well. It's also a metaphor for the Holy Spirit dwelling in the believers. So Yahweh has a what? He has a residence, a staying, a place. So brothers in the kingdom, we're, 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 even, we're going to be meeting each other in different galaxies. And man, oh, it's going to be beautiful. You know? Yo, do you want to come Do you want to come to my particular galaxy? My, uh, my, is this going to be... It's words cannot fully comprehend it because it's written here, but it doesn't really go into full detail of what it's going to be, what we're going to see. Because right now, what look, we're on earth. But Yahweh Shai said, no, there's many mentions, right? You're seeing earth. What do you see? Green, sea, okay. And these, and these buildings, that's all going to be done away with. This earth's going to be replenished. So it's not just the earth we're going to do it. We're going to do it on many different abodes, many different galaxies. You may have a galaxy with pure water. You may have another galaxy, I don't know, with gold. <laughs> man, come on, man. You got to think, you come into this truth, you, you think higher. Okay? Bear me just a minute. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. So, Yahweh Shah saying, if this was not the case, I wouldn't even be telling you right now. I go to prepare a place for you. So as we're speaking right now at this time, present moment, Yahweh is preparing a place with, uh, for us, with the angels, getting everything ready. 
getting everything decorated. This is how much Yahawashai cares for his elect. This is how much he loves his elect. It's like before someone comes to a dinner. What are you doing? You're making sure that you're making sure the tables are all clean. And this is the this is the heavenly this is Yahawashai. You're making sure everything's ready. Everything's furnished. This is what Yahweh is preparing a place for us. And I will come again. And I will see. And Yahweh needed to continually say that there was particular verses where he needed to say that. Particular chapters where Yahweh would always say that. I go to the Father. Why are you sorrowful? Why was, why was Yahweh saying, Why are you sorrowful? Because Yahweh, he would be coming back, which he is. And receive you unto myself, and where I am, there you may be also. So the elect, what no man can pluck them out of Yahushua's hands. So wherever, it, wherever Yahushua is, wherever his word is, the elect are there. And wherever you go, you know, and the way you know. Okay. So this is what we got laid up for us, and this is a beautiful thing. This is if this don't make you excited, what will? You understand what I'm saying? Let's go to Corinthians two. And nine. But as it is written, I have not seen, not ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the mind of man, the things which the most I have prepared for them that love him. So we went into what? John 14, many mentions. But the scripture says, Eyes have not seen, nor, nor heard. Neither have entered into the heart of man, the mind, the things which the Most High prepared for them that love him. So, what we've read, all we can do is visualise it. But it doesn't say what actually is going to be the mansions. What's going to be in those mansions? But in due time it will be revealed. But the Most High, it is the Spirit, but the Most High have revealed them unto us by his Spirit. Okay, the, of the things we do know at this present time. For the Spirit search of all things, yea, the deep things of the Most High. Okay, for what, what what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is of in him? Even so the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. So everything we do know, because what? Through the Holy Spirit. Because if that wasn't the case, we wouldn't know. So with this just now, hope this is really edifying. Quick edification. And until the next time, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.